Have you ever wanted to configure ESLint to work correctly with Prettier in your React application? If so, stay tuned as in this video I'm going to show you the best settings to do that. Ok, so now in order to configure our ESLint with uh, Prettier, first uh, make sure that you have uh, ESLint globally installed on your machine. Now, uh, in order to do that, uh, go to eslint.org and click on uh, the user guide and uh, getting, uh, getting started uh, link over here. And you're going to find uh, uh, how to uh, install eslint. Uh, basically, you would want to open a command prompt and there you would want to type npm i dash g for global installation and you would want to type eslint and press enter. I have currently installed uh, ESLint on my machine, but you have to wait for some time uh, for it to be installed. As you can see, everything is updated. And now what we can do is to open our React application. In the background, I have run uh, my uh, Create React app which is uh, currently unpacking, but if you're not familiar what that is, uh, you can uh, just create a React application using uh, create React app, search that in Google and you're going to get the Facebook uh, GitHub repository and uh, there you can uh, see how you can uh, uh, create a React application by just running npx create react app and then the name of your application. Now make sure that you have uh, npm 5.2 and higher. Uh, this will uh, let you use uh, npx and uh, the command to create react app. Now I'm just going to wait for my uh, create react app to uh, create my application here and I'll get back to you. Okay, now that we have our uh, create react application uh, created, we would uh, like to go into the folder. So type cd and uh, the name of the create react application that you have uh, created. Uh, mine was uh, eslint prettier tutorial and I'm going to open Visual Studio Code from this folder. In order to do that, just type code space dot and this will open your project in Visual Studio Code. Okay, this is a pretty simple uh, Create React application. We have an app.js, uh, index and service workers, etc. Now we want uh, to uh, configure ESLint and Prettier here. In order to do that, uh, we would uh, first want to initiate uh, ESLint. Now open the terminal and here you would just want to type ESLint dash dash init and press enter. This will start a questionnaire for you where uh, you would need to answer some questions on how you would like to use ESLint. Here we would want to check the syntax and find problems, so press enter. We would also want to use uh, JavaScript modules as uh, React uh, usually uses them. Uh, so which framework uh, does your project use? Uh, we are using React at the moment. Uh, does your project use TypeScript? Say no, we are currently not using TypeScript. We're going to use the browser and we would want our configuration file to be in JSON. Okay, uh, now we are getting the suggestion that we need to install ESLint plugin React. So click yes on that and uh, let it install. And after that, we are going to install some more dependencies. Okay, now that we have uh, created our ESLint configuration, here is the JSON file here. Uh, we would want to uh, delete some, uh, some of it because it's auto-configured. We would want to delete the globals. Uh, we would also uh, delete the ECMA features here and the source type. Just leave uh, the extend CNV plugins and rules. Now, don't forget to delete that comma over here. Okay, so now that we have uh, modified our ESLint uh, configuration a little, we would need to install some more pure dependencies of uh, ESLint configuration for create React application. 
So now in order to do that, we would need to type the following. Now bear with me, I'm going to leave everything of uh, what we have done in the description of this video below. So let's type npx install dash peer depths dash dash dev yes lint config react app okay and we would want to install that now while this is installing you can go ahead and uh, search in google for yeslint config react app as you can see this is the npm package and you can take a look at it here are all the dependencies that we're going to install with uh, this uh, npx uh, install dev dependencies however this was too long for me uh, to remember or for for you to type it uh, from the video so uh, I think this is a lot better. Now uh, this has finished and let's go ahead and see what we have installed here. Okay, we have uh, TypeScript which is not necessary but if you use TypeScript uh, uh, just leave that there. Now there's some more stuff that we would need to install here. So in order to connect our Prettier with ESLint, we would need to install some more plugins here. We would need to install npm install as a dev dependency dash d ESLint dash config dash Prettier ESLint plugin dash Prettier and Prettier as well. Okay, now that we have installed our ESLint Prettier plugins, we are ready to configure our ESLint here. Uh, now, uh, here we want to extend our React app and uh, our Prettier as well. Uh, in order to do that, we need to delete that and provide an array. Here we will need to type react-app and comma separate that and add prettier as well now uh, as for plugins we need to uh, add react and we need to add prettier as well so type prettier here and we have formatted it a little now here in order to provide some prettier settings just create prettier forward slash prettier like that and here we want to provide an array uh, for the prettier settings that we provide here we want uh, uh, ESLint to give us an error or you can uh, provide uh, this as a warning just warn or error I prefer error okay now separate that with comma and provide uh, object here here are some settings that I currently use. Uh, I'm just going to paste them here to show you what it's going to happen. Okay, now we have set up everything correctly for Prettier to run through ESLint. Now, one last thing that we need to make sure that we have as a setting in Visual Studio Code is that we fix our document on document save. Now, in order to find that setting, just press F1 and go to settings and open your user settings. Now here you would want to type ESLint like that and make sure that you have auto fix on save here checked. Usually by default this is unchecked so make sure you check it. Okay now let's go ahead and see what's happening in our app.js file. As you can see we have some errors here and those come from prettier and now in order to fix those just press ctrl and s and everything is going to be fixed okay one last thing that i need to mention here is that sometimes uh, eslint uh, configurations can contradict with uh, prettier configurations and uh, for example if uh, here we have uh, set our semicolons to be false in prettier and uh, if we said uh, that we want to get a warning from ESLint when we don't have semicolons, 
uh, for example like that we want to get an error here and uh, if we go in our app.js file here whenever we save it and save it again it's going to uh, disable and enable uh, our uh, commas here now in order to know which uh, rules are contradicting we need to add a specific script here in our package.json file i'm going to leave uh, the script uh, in the description of this video however here it is it's going to call don't forget the comma here it's going to call eslint print config and then you need to uh, create uh, and leave the path to your app.js file for example or other file that exists in your project for example src app.js and then you provide tslint config prettier check okay and now in order to run that and see that we have uh, contradicting rules here with prettier and tslint just run npm run and go ahead and let's check the name eslint check eslint dash check and when you run that it's going to tell you which rules are contradicting as you can see here we have a contradicting rule of semicolons now in order to fix that uh, just remember that the formatting of uh, your document needs to come from prettier and uh, the other rules uh, that prevent uh, anything from breaking or anything like that come from eslint so just that uh, delete uh, those semicolons and use them in prettier so this is it for this video if you enjoyed it smash the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this in the future see you next time